rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. We're stepping up into the C-suite. Rolling in six figures of automobile today. It's the 2018 Cadillac Escalade ESV Platinum. This vehicle has a lot of hype around it as the pinnacle of what Cadillac can do. And we're here to see if that's true, how it stacks up. Is it good? Do we like it? You know, all the usual stuff. Well, that's what's up next on rumblestrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So we're out this morning as we're wrapping up our week with the Escalade in Birmingham, Michigan, which is sort of an appropriate place to be driving this thing since this is where many of the execs of the auto industry live and you see a lot of these things rolling through here and not necessarily just because they're GM employees. There's been a lot of talk about just how good this new Escalade is, that it's, you know, its presence on the road, its interior refinement, its ride, uh, it's handling, it's, you know, just overall quality. How does it stack up against, you know, the world's best? And is it, you know, once again, the standard of the world? Well, mostly, I have to say, it lives up to the hype. This is a very good, solid, and interesting vehicle. But it has, for me, a huge and major flaw. And that is, it's mother bleeping freaking long and big this thing goes on forever it's 224 inches long so that's like 19 feet and change or 18 feet and change something like that you do the math um and you know the, the width is pretty substantial i forget what the width is but it's like 70 close to 70 inches i believe something more than that anyways doesn't matter well drop the pertinent information below here. The point is, as we drive right by another one, as we said, um, it's a big vehicle to be driving around and you have to place everything carefully. Now, if like my brother, you live out in the, you know, in Oklahoma in the flatlands or Texas or somewhere out West, or you live in a place where there's just not a lot around, hey, no big deal, right? You can roll the, the, the room is fine. But if you live and drive in a city a lot, it's a lot of vehicle to be rolled in. The interior of this Escalade is quite good. Uh, the materials are very nice. They're very premium. They're as good as you would see on, say, a Land Rover. Now, there are one or two spots in here we found some material, hard plastic materials, but they're in a non-contact area or non-touch point area and you get away with it uh, you know would it be it, when you're spending a hundred grand should everything be finished uh perfectly i think so uh, would be my my point of view but you know this comes from something that cost half as much with the with the uh with the suburban so you know i guess you have to make some uh some allowances along those lines but Overall, the interior is good. Second row uh, room and the captain's chairs there is, is excellent. And even uh, adults can actually move into the third row, actually maneuver back there and sit reasonably comfortably back there up to, say, you know, a six footer. Now, now, do you want to spend a lot of time back there? I don't know. Those seats are pretty thin, but it's, it's doable. The Cadillac Q system in here has been improved, but it's still the Cadillac Q system. There's nothing that's going to fix the Cadillac Q system other than getting rid of it and putting something else in. Um, compared to some other vehicles we've driven in the past, it's, again, is it's remarkably better, but, you know, um, you can't overcome the faults that are built into it as much as you try to update the, the software and, and some of the other things. So there is talk that General Motors is going to scrap that. Cadillac's going to scrap it, however you want to say it, and uh, move on from there, which will be welcome news. Uh, the Bose audio system in here is okay. Uh, it's a Bose system, so it's okay. It's not the worst Bose system. It's not the best. It's just a pretty average Bose system, which means it's it's okay. One of the most remarkable things that we've experienced in this vehicle is the fuel economy. 
not something you'd expect and maybe not something you care about when you're dropping a hundred thousand uh, dollars on a vehicle but it's noteworthy because um, I didn't even look at the EPA numbers when I first got in but drove it for like three days and did a lot of highway driving with it and looking at the average on the uh, on the gauges here it showed almost 21 miles to the gallon and I pulled out the Monroney here and lo and behold EPA 14 city 21 highway 17 combined that's pretty much dead on I haven't done a lot of city driving but between highway and combined yeah 21 and 17 is dead on now price uh, as we said as delivered $103,185 uh, standard vehicle price with this Platinum ESV is $99,095. It has one option on it, and this is an option you should get. It is the Performance Front Brakes for $27,95. Now, these are six-piston Brembos, and I want to make sure I get this right, with 16.1-inch rotors. Now, I bring that up because this is a little over 6,000-pound vehicle. I want to say, did I write it down? I did not. Oh, yeah, 6,088 pounds. 6,088 pounds. Big vehicle. I mean, there's certainly bigger, you know, your your F-250s and F-350s or 2,500, 3,500 pickup trucks are in that same kind of area. But 6,000 pounds, that's a lot of weight to bring down. And I got to tell you, these brakes are tremendous. We've had one or two spots where we had to crank on the brakes a little bit. And it's hauled, and it hauled us down quickly. Um, very nice feel with the brakes. So if you are getting this, just spend the extra three grand and get the upgraded brakes. You'll thank me later. So the engine underneath here is the 6.2 V8 General Motors. Uh, it has 420 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. You know, it's plenty, plenty enough power. Could it use some more? Yes, yes it could because at times it feels like it just is trying to go. Now, some of that is due to the 10-speed automatic transmission in here, which is normally very fine. It shifts uh, seamlessly up through the gears. Don't even really notice it. However, because it is going up through so many gears so quickly to achieve those very good fuel economy numbers, it takes, you know, it's got to come down sometimes three, four, and five gears to get you to the point where it's putting you in the meat of the torque band or the power band so that you can accelerate away. So that's why I say, could it use a little more power? Sure. Now, some of this vehicle is lost on us. Like, would I spend my own money? Let's say I'm in the market for a $100,000 vehicle. Would I buy this? No. I mean, sorry, not to not to jump so quickly to the answer, but no. Um, it's too damn big, at least from, from what I want. And this is, you know, we've got a Mastiff. We've got a big dog. Um, so space, interior space is, to me, always important for what you can carry the dog for. Uh, and certainly this has the length. It, it just, the, the size doesn't work. It's not efficient for for me and my needs. Now for you, if you've got three, four kids or you're hauling, you got two kids and you're always hauling their friends and all their crap, uh, sorry, stuff, George Carlin stuff, crap, right? Um, you know, maybe. If you're just you and someone else, do you need versus want? Okay, I get it. But what's the purpose other than, hey, I got the biggest car out there and maybe that's the justification you need? I guess that's fine. Um, I just, some of this vehicle is lost on me because of the size. Uh, because it sits up a little high in the in the cargo area, I don't think it's the most efficient use of space. Um, you know, I think you, you lose a lot of space. I think you'd be better served with a wagon. Uh, at $100,000, if I'm spending on something like this, well then, you know, E63, AMG S, Mercedes-Benz wagon all day, sorry. Um, you know, for less money, you could look at something like the uh, the new Jag Sport Brake or something, you know, along those lines. Um, just a wagon to me is a much better vehicle. Now you sit up here, you're in command of the road or whatever, but you're sitting up high, your center of gravity is very high. Um, so the handling, while remarkable, for what it is on, you know, this thing's rolling on 285 section 22 tires. Yeah. Um, yeah, rolling on double deuces. Look, the ride is good. The handling is good, all things considered, but it's still 6,000 pounds sitting up in the air. 
electronics and suspension and tires can only overcome so much physics. While this vehicle may not be for us, is it for you? Possibly. This is an excellent vehicle. Uh, just full stop, it's an excellent vehicle. It's got, uh, objectively, not too many issues with it, really. It's objectively, it's, it's excellent. I think it's okay value for money. Um, if you're shopping in this in this market, subjectively, as we've said, we've got it, it just uh, not for us, not for not for me. Um, better other choices out there that better suit our missions, and I think that's the best thing. Does this suit your mission? Uh, is your mission ego? Then yes, <laughs> yes, it will. Um, and depending on where you live, maybe you want to drive something that everyone else isn't driving, right? So, say you're on, you know, in the in the I-95 corridor out east, or you're in LA, and everyone's driving, you know, uh, GLS Mercs and Land Rovers, and uh, you know, something, and uh, uh, Lexus LX 570s or whatever, and you want to stand out from the crowd. You want something different. Here you go. In Metro Detroit, where people tend to buy, not as much as it once was by, by a long margin, but you'll see this more than you would see a Land Rover. Well, okay, you, you blend in, right? So maybe, depending where you live, maybe you want to blend in. As I said, if you live out west and, you know, in Texas and Oklahoma and Colorado, wherever, um, where you have room to roam and distances between gas stops are are significant, hey, you know, this may make sense for you. Uh, it's big, it's comfortable, it can do a road trip like nobody's business. So, overall, do we like it objectively? Yes, even subjectively, I like it. It's just not the vehicle for us.